Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I remodel a ton of kitchens and it's really important that we actually take the time and look at those cool before and after pictures, right? Because that's where the real fun is. So today I wanted to share one of my favorite transitional kitchen designs with you guys. And um, it, it's a project I did a little while back in DuPont, Washington. It was really one of my favorite transitional kitchens. So if you are right now planning on a kitchen remodel and you're kind of thinking about transitional kitchen design, this is definitely a must watch video for you. And really quick before we dive into these amazing before and after pictures, Take one quick second and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I teach you all of the ins and outs on how to remodel and design your own kitchen. And in case you wondered, my name is Kristen Kopp, kitchen designer with King's Kitchen, your kitchen design and remodeling team in Tacoma, Washington. And now let's look at those before and afters. Okay, check out this before picture. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, that's a big change when you see the after picture. This is your average builder grade kitchen that um, most stock builders will provide you with. So it's nothing crazy. It looked like it actually had a lot of storage, but my clients couldn't utilize it, uh, utilize it the best way. And um, they just really weren't happy about the dark, droopy feeling they had it sitting and being in this space. When my clients approached me, the goal was to update the kitchen with a relatively neutral feel um, for possibly actually selling the house in three to five years. So they, they really weren't sure where they wanted to go with this house. So it, it had to stay neutral. So we wanted a way lighter space that feels more inviting. The clients really wanted to incorporate the seating area into a very large island and also include an induction cooktop in the island to prepare small meals. So these were your before pictures. Now forward several weeks for design meetings and hard work on site and lots of fun and magic sauce. And here we arrive at this stunning transitional kitchen, a beautiful light and inviting space with lots of well-functioning storage options and one of the largest islands I've ever designed for anybody. In this kitchen, we used shaker-styled cabinet doors with a five-piece detailed drawer front. So they're not slab drawer fronts, they actually have the detail on the drawer fronts. That was really important here. Since we wanted to create a transitional kitchen design, um, which means we're pulling elements together between traditional and modern, we left um, off the crown for a simple clean look. So we didn't add no crown detail in this kitchen. It just looks very clean and done. Um, then we've added modern aspects like the textured laminate finish you see on the backside of the island here. So pretty and beautiful and, and it's textured when you touch it. Um, it just feels really cool. As well as the tap pull cabinet hardware. So if you look a little bit closer onto the cabinets, we used a very sleek tap pull here for the cabinet hardware. Then we've uh, used a pencil shaped tile for the backsplash, which adds um, just a more modern shape without being too harsh since it's really nice and handmade and it has like a pillowed look to it and really you can see it in the reflection of the light and it's not like a straight subway tile that's flat. It just really has a little bit of that pillowed feel that captures the light. So this was actually the cabinet door that we've used for this project, which is the retro door right here by Belmont in the 1600 line. Now what makes this door so special, as I mentioned before, it has a five piece drawer front. So sometimes um, when you design a space, you really wanna look at those details for the drawer fronts as well. If you have a lot of drawer fronts, do you want to have slab drawers or do you wanna have detailed um, drawers? Now, sometimes I really like the slab drawer front because it adds a more modern touch, but we were gonna add the modern touch with other aspects. So it was important that we've kept more of that traditional feel in the drawer fronts. And then, so we used this guy by Belmont, and then we've also used um, on the island, this textured laminate by Belmont called Aroma. And I really, really love this color because it went so well with the engineered hardwood we've picked. It really complemented the space. And other than grays, I know there are a lot of people are going towards the grays right now, but those 
true browns are just timeless. And you have to remember, we were thinking about maybe selling this house in three to five years. So we don't want to go too crazy. We want to pick things that we know are neutral, right? So this is a great neutral color, but it adds so much of um, just a cool detail to the space. And textured laminate actually holds up so well, especially on an island where you have a lot of traffic, kids, and maybe animals, okay? And then um, we've used uh, just a very simple quartz here, a white quartz called Dove White by Teltos. For the countertops, uh, we used a 3CM quartz countertop, as you've seen in the pictures, just to keep it really, really simple and neutral. So in the end, we were all so, so excited about the outcome. I mean, my customers were thrilled about how bright and airy the space felt, about all the amazing storage solutions we've included. You know, you've got your spice pullouts and all those cool things, but I love adding a ton of drawers because they're just really functioning for the space and um, we just loved all of the, um, the finishes that we've selected together so it was a really amazing project and most of all that's important to me is that my customers were just super happy in the end okay my kitchen lover thank you so much for hanging out i really enjoyed doing my videos with you and um, thanks for watching obviously leave me a comment below if you have any questions and don't be shy i mean i'd love to help you out give you my two cents if you want them and um, if instagram is a platform you hang out a little bit more i do get a lot of questions and comments on instagram as well and i'm pretty active so go ahead and follow me there too and uh, don't forget to like this video and uh, that would make me super happy and of course subscribe to my channel i teach you everything you need to know about designing and remodeling your own kitchen and don't forget to hit the bell and that way you'll get notified whenever i release new videos for you okay other than that thanks again so much for hanging out and i will see you next time ciao